the funny things that happens in our industry is that there are three primary words that describe the whole process of getting software and products ready for multiple worldwide markets. Those terms are internationalization, localization, and translation. And they tend to be used quite inter interchangeably when they actually have very distinct meanings in the process of getting software ready for the world. So first I'm going to mention internationalization. And in software terms, that's when we make product so that it's ready to support any language, any locale. And uh, by internationalization, you see that commonly abbreviated as an I-18. The 18 is for 18 letters in the middle and an N at the end. Count it out if you like. Internationalization. Long word, 20 letters reduced to four. Uh, then uh, the issue with internationalization is we're making software. And let's say we have an application. We're taking the elements that make it specific to any one market, let's call it US English, and we're saying we're going to abstract anything that has to do with the content that's presented, uh, the logic of how the software is working, perhaps it's sorting based on a certain alphabetical logic that's not going to work in Japan or China. Uh, there are now new characters that you have to support worldwide as part of uh, other languages. But there's also a whole framework of how the software is going to behave in different parts of the world and different parts of the application that are going to need to be changed. So with internationalization, we take a product that's U.S. English. And we haven't translated anything, but we actually take it and we make it so it's, a, it's capable of supporting lots of languages and uh, that is that internationalization process and it actually comes before you can localize and localization is a word that gets used often uh, for even the internationalization process we say we hear people calling us saying we need help with software localization localization also has its own abbreviation L 10 n again, L 10 letters in the middle, N at the end, and that is the actual translation as part of that process. That is taking an application and all the words that have been extracted during the internationalization process into resources. It is uh, sometimes reorganizing the geometry of the software and generally making it both presentable and adapted to the, the whole marketplace that you're looking to go to. So if you're looking to get your software ready for the Spanish market, well, a localization question would be, which Spanish? Um, there's lots of Spanish is used all over the world. It's used differently. Just like English is different here in the United States and different in uh, uh, the UK. So localization includes adapting the whole presentation of the language so it is targeted to the requirements of the software, the vertical of market, let's say it's a financial product, uh, uh, so it uses the right financial terms, and it is targeted to a specific market during localization, whereas internationalization makes it conserve many. Now translation is the last part of that, and in this term it tends to be used a little bit more literally. So translation tends to be like, I'm translating this, document, this uh, spoken word, and it, it really is more about just turning a set of words into another language. It involves less software aspects. We don't put the T, whatever number it is, N into translation. It always just gets called translation. So now you're an expert, and uh, thank you. <laughs>